It's first thing in the morning and this kid's already in trouble. How can you stay mad at him? He looks like this. He's in timeout with his helmet on. It's hard to stay mad at you, but Lincoln, you are the busiest, most mischievous four-year-old that ever lived. And he doesn't even hold a grudge. I get mad at him, he cries, he gets disciplined, and then you look at him and he's smiling and he doesn't like it. <laughs> You're hard to be mad at, but you are hard to raise, my son. I just have to show you something about Boston. He brought his camera charger, so that's up there on the ceiling. And then he's got his camera right here. Guys, he's like doesn't even hardly take pictures or video. But if he needs to or has the desire to, but he's that's ready. His car charger. No, it's not. It's his camera battery charger. Since it's so windy, it's a perfect time to show you what trailer we're driving this time around. For those of you that are new to our channel, we have been doing a little bit of RVing, and each time we go, we take something different so we can decide what we would ever actually want to purchase. So let me walk you through what we have this time around. Guys, we brought a motorhome. <laughs> I'm not convinced that I would do it again, but I'm also not convinced that I wouldn't. So there's a few things that I like about it. It was really fun to drive with Joel. Like that was that was fun. This area is really open and big. And the whole area as a whole is just a lot bigger. Like it's just, this is um, a bigger space, like a living space than what we've had with the like other trailers that we've taken in the past. We have our clothing and storage in here. And the bathroom area is a lot bigger in this bathroom. Hello. <laughs> And then the one thing that I really do not like about this one, you walk up the stairs and this is the master area and I did not enjoy sleeping that close to the ceiling. So that was kind of different, but it's good to know. So other masters that we've had, um, you can look at the other videos. I'll leave them in the description below, but they've had like more of like a bedroom. But the reason that the master is so small is because you've got the toy hauler underneath. So we carried some four wheelers and stuff in here. These folded down and then it opens up to kind of like a balcony, which this is kind of fun. And then we pulled the machines off and we've got them sitting here. So that's the tour of the motorhome for you guys. Well, does this make us officially adults now that we have <laughs> driven our kids in a motorhome and parked somewhere and taken them on four wheeler rides? Does that mean we're officially adults yet? Still feel like a teenager. <laughs> what? I know! That's exactly how I feel. We're just like little teenage Bonnie and Joel. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> makes, me happy. makes me happy too. All the cousins are finding cousins their age. All the cousins are finding more cousins their age. Hello, everybody! We've got mom and dad's RV, and then the rest, everyone else here has motorhomes. We've got Julie and Landon, Ellie and Jared, there's Bo, he's gonna be in with mom and dad, and then Ruby and Kevin. <laughs> Guys, it's kind of hilarious, actually, that we're all driving motorhomes. We don't do this, who are we? Everyone's connecting the crappers. You getting the crapper connected? <laughs> it's
it's working. While everybody's up at the top of the hill, Joel's down here teaching all the little kids how to ride. Leaving the sand dunes, I got catapulted out of the trailer, dropped this camera in the sand, and it will not even reopen. So thankfully, anytime we go on a trip, I always bring two cameras and two memory cards, and like one is just like a backup. So hallelujah, praise be. All right, we are going to get a bed set up for the kids tonight. Here's where um, the driver's seat and passenger seat is. And this folds down here as like a queen size bed. Okay, pull out this ladder. Pretty neat, huh? Got all the jammies lined up. I've gotta get all the kids bathed real quick. I'm going to take one of these sleeping bags. This bed would fold out, but we don't need it to fold out. Lincoln can just sleep right here. We're going to pull down the nightshades so that in the morning the sun doesn't blind us, which is really nice and very helpful. So this is our setup and it has worked very nicely for us. And here's the routine. Once I get all the kids in bed, I like to sweep out the RV so that when we wake up, it's kind of like starting a fresh day with a fresh RV. And you would absolutely die at the amount of sand on these floors. <laughs> okay, you need to show them this pile of dirt that I just swept up. Oh my gosh, your little mini mountain of sand. That's like a sand dune. Want me to grab the vacuum? We'll vacuum it up. Okay. Okay. We're taking our lunch break to cool off and eat some lunch and to reapply sunblock and to make sure that I haven't lost any of my children. So, mm -hmm. here we go. It was over the very gate. Camping. For camping. Those guys are just hanging out over there taking a nap. I, on the other hand, am tearing into my four wheeler because I don't know if you guys remember, but this winter I blew a belt. That's this piece right here. It blew into pieces. And when I say pieces, I mean there was like shards of it everywhere. The fibers looked like I had spun yarn inside of that. That's how bad it was. And as we've been driving around, I've been hearing this clunking noise. And come to find out, when I took this cover off, there was little pieces right here of that original belt. And those were making all kinds of noise and I didn't want them to tear everything apart in there. So I tore it apart. Why not? When I go RVing, I bring all my tools. Well, not all of them, <laughs> that'd be ridiculous. But I bring a socket set and a drill set and a wrench set every single time because without fail, there's something I either need to repair, fix, or I don't know, just make better because I've got spare time. And right now it's kind of dead time in the campsite. It's hot, so I found the only shade we have, which is under these trees. And me and Russell, we're just figuring this out, huh? Yeah, and 
also later tonight um we're gonna go out all together and i actually might be able to drive our four wheeler by with my dad and maybe after a little while i'll be able to drive it actually by myself and you guys better watch for that in the vlog we're gonna probably film that hopefully on the farthest so far. Wow! Wow! Ah, yeah! Good job. His hands are in the air! Woo! <laughs> What's been the best part of this trip? Riding Jackson's blue for <laughs> You're gonna crush Dad's heart by saying that. How about riding your own? Have you enjoyed riding your own? I enjoyed riding the blue one. <laughs> You're gonna crush dad's soul, I hope you know! Just FYI, I did not buy myself treats for this trip. I was kicking myself for it because my kids didn't have any treats to eat. So I, Joel and I ran to this store real quick. It's about, you know, just only like a maybe 15 minute drive away. And I got cookies and it satisfied the like urge for me to have treats. But I myself will not be partaking in this. It has been, vacation is the hardest when trying to like kind of eat better because everyone's having yummy treats and that's like, that's like part of the fun is like eating the treats but I've, I've refrained. Clara, does a pirate have you? <laughs> yes. Yeah, the prettiest pirate that ever pirated the pirates. <laughs> oh, getting the most cash cash photo. Get it. Get it. <laughs> Jackson. Jackson. Does anyone have water? That's on your face. <laughs> you guys, Lincoln's a diehard. He will never stop. You okay? You guys are diehards. Oh, I'm gonna cover your hole. I will try so hard not to let that okay, sand come in. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll leave you alone. I just had to come. So tight. I just had to come show how cute you all were. We're trying to make a huge, ginormous hole so that maybe we can all see. Oh, all right. This is your dog when you come up it. That was scary. Coming, oh, coming down the hill? Yes. Yeah. Was that, did Ellie drive it down? Yes, yeah, she did good. Oh my right. gosh, I can't believe you drove that down. I know 